Lesson number five from Mr. Walt Disney. It takes hard time. Different format for this lecture. We're going to talk about the creation of Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie, and the sound cartoons, and the process of going through this and the innovation and kind of the whole situation with Disney and the company. The studio is running out of money. We've talked about this a lot where a new business is a really fragile little entity that's just about to go out of business. And looking at it that way is important. So how do we reduce our costs, try to get as much cash flow coming in and from sales? How do we work on our financing strategy, et cetera? Disney and Roy got very good at this because they were always running out of money. And so they were just got very good at finding money from the bank, finding money from the customer, finding money from this friend or this piece, this family member. And so that's why we kind of force you to say, get in the game because you're going to get better at entrepreneurship the more you do it. And it's really hard to do it by reading about a, through a book or even a course like this. Uh, part of the staff defected to another studio. So Disney's in a challenging contract situation with a gentleman named Mintz. Mintz effectively steals a character that Disney had created. And, and then part of that stealing of the character, Mintz essentially takes a bunch of Disney's staff. And then Disney is unable to sell the inventory of shorts that he has. So he's got you're really struggling with cash flow, can't get any sales. And then he still has to work with Mintz, who he's still under contract to create a few more shorts. The first Mickey Mouse was made by 12 people in a garage after hours. There was no contract, so there's no money coming in for the character. They're in a major budget crisis with no other plan other than to continue to make Mickey's and use the capital. So Disney had had some success with a character that was stolen, the rabbit, and now he's saying, I know that I need to create a character. I know that a character can be successful. And he has no money and not a great plan, but he knows he needs to make a character. So it's those gut things, those big decisions, like I just know if we can create this character, it will be successful. And as you're working through those things, that's when innovation tends to happen. So then a breakthrough. We'll make them over with sound. Disney, while being super passionate about creating a character, the mouse, and that's a breakthrough, the sound is another major component of this initial breakthrough. It's a combination of multiple breakthroughs. We're going to create a character and people have been creating characters and the character itself wasn't necessarily a breakthrough, but the sound with the character is what really makes it. And so this is the major innovation here. And this is what's going to set Disney off on a new trajectory, but he's just in the depths of pain and, and challenges and, and inevitably with an innovation like this, the breakthrough is just the start. The breakthrough is a great idea and you're, you're excited and that's when it's easy to work on it. But now it's going to take a long road to get this innovation, this idea will make them over with sound into the market. So Walt had just lost Oswald, the rabbit. He had lost most of his staff, but in a few short months, he reinvented his studio with a major innovation. So this is why it's important to stay in the game, to not go bankrupt, to not quit, because you never know what's going to happen. And Disney's in a really bad situation and he essentially creates Mickey as well as the sound cartoon. And we'll see how much more work he's got because he's got a lot more work to get it going. But he's taken a major step and he's completely you know, changed his the dynamics of the company. And it's a really exciting time. And this is, this is what happens in entrepreneurship. A lot of highs, a lot of lows. And he's in a really bad low. And this is the kind of the, just the energy and the breakthrough that he needed to you know, take things to another level. So a few lessons here. Innovative products can motivate your staff. If you're having trouble motivating people or yourself, obviously working on interesting projects, exciting breakthroughs, that can help motivate the staff. And that was huge for Disney. Uh, the staff was in a bad situation and he came up with the sound the cartoons and that, that really got everyone excited and working really hard. Uh, breakthroughs occur via hard work, not research, right? So that's why we, we want to get you in the game, get you being an entrepreneur, get you working on your side project, get you tinkering, 
because that's where you're gonna get your breakthrough. Talking with customers, talking with clients, that's where the breakthrough occurs. Could it happen through research? Sure, and you should do your research, but we tend to think that you're gonna get a lot of your breakthroughs by getting that information right from the client, being in the weeds of a client's project and understanding, oh, this is the idea I've been looking for. Uh, own your name and own your category. So Disney says, now they are a sound cartoons firm shop. They own so sound cartoons. No one does them better. He just invented them and now he's kind of owning the category. So wherever you can niche yourself and, and you know once again, niching and owning, he no longer does silent films, it's sound cartoons. And so continue to own our niche and refine how we're positioning ourselves in our niche is important. Even after the breakthrough, there's hundreds of additional hurdles to overcome. So it's very exciting to create a new product, new service, new app, but it's so much work and the idea is just, just the very beginning. And even if you create the app or the the product, you have to refine it, optimize it, and market it, right? So it's just the very beginning. Yes, you had a major breakthrough. They created a sound cartoon, but it wasn't ready for prime time. It needed to be optimized. It needed to be further created, further optimized, and then it needed to be marketed and sold. So just realize that if you get your breakthrough, which is amazing, you you still have a long way to go to get it where you're going to be happy with it and it's in the market. But after two months in New York, two months away from the studio, his family, his home, and all the financial moving, Walt had four Mickey Mouse sound cartoons with no company to distribute them. So there's a ton of stuff he goes through. He, he tries to get the sound right and... He's you know doing work working with a high level orchestra which costs real money which he doesn't have and so they're having to you know refinance the studio and they're having to borrow additional money from a bank and they're having to so there's all these different components that are happening and then meanwhile there's all this financial maneuvering is happening and then they're and then there's they're, they're trying to get it right and they're trying to optimize the product and they're spending money and it's just it's a lot a lot of work and they do all that and they get the cartoons and they get the product ready. And they still don't have a company to distribute it, right? So it's like, this is just, this is entrepreneurship 101. You, you, you have amazing breakthrough, you do everything right, and you still don't have the company to distribute it, right? You still you haven't even gotten in the market yet. You've created it, you haven't gotten in the market. Okay, so the breakthrough occurs on May 19th, and it does not publicly debut until November 18th. So that's five months, right? And so, this is just to help you with timelines and understanding your mental thought process. It takes hard time. This was a really hard five months and that's not even counting what was happening for the other six months. Disney, before this, he was getting sued and he was dealing with financial issues and he was, it was just a hot mess. And then he has a breakthrough and then it takes another five months of nonstop work nonstop maneuvering, financing, creating the product, optimizing the product, just to even get it to debut, right? And so this is what entrepreneurship's all about, and hopefully this helps structure things in your head better in terms of, look, this is how long this stuff takes. Years, years. So if you're frustrated with your business, it's not going as fast as you want, on, let's think about Steamboat Willie, think about the creation of Sound Cartoon. It took them five months from the initial rough prototype of the sound cartoon to the public debut of this piece of art. It will take longer than you think. So a uh, developer you're working with says five months, just times it times two, it's 10 months. It's gonna take 10 months just to create the app. If someone says, you know, we'll close the deal in one month, just times it times two or times three. It's going to take three months. It's going to take longer than you think. Just assume that. If you want to be an entrepreneur, A, get in the game. B, plan for the long haul. Find your niche, right? So that's why we want to niche in a specific field because we, you know, we can just basically play in the game longer. So it's going to take longer than you think, period. It will only happen if you will it to happen through sheer force. So 
it's very hard to be successful and you're only going to make it happen if you decide it's going to happen. And there's not, there's no other way to make it happen other than you completely believe in it and you're the one that's going to make it happen. And then everything's going to go wrong. I mean, literally everything is going to go wrong. So if you think it's going to be easy, obviously, hopefully after this course, you don't, but there is a lot of hard work that goes into this and I won't beat this one up too much. I'll just say, look, if you plan for everything to go wrong, when it goes right, you're gonna be really happy. So this is a great lesson how Mickey Mouse was created, how the sound cartoon was created. It takes hard time. It's very, very hard. And hopefully these time frames and these lessons are really help you understand what it takes to create art, create a business, etc. cetera.